Hi again, in this chapter we will start with the ladybug tools and honeybee tools which are the main plugins that we will use in uh, our next work. So if with a quick uh, search, Google search, you can see like all of these results uh, that uh, are taken from ladybug tools. When we go to a grasshopper and rhino, uh, we, when we check these tabs up there, uh, we will not see the ladybug tools by default. So ladybug and honeybee and all the tools that we are using are an like, extra plugin that we have to uh, install uh, on top of the existing grasshopper. So I believe uh, with uh, your, your grasshopper, you have these tabs until like maybe display or you have kangaroo. But I added uh, these other ones, these because I'm uh, I'm using them. Uh, these are also like extra uh, plugins. And now uh, we will uh, install Ladybug tools and Honeybee tools uh, here uh, on Grasshopper. So to do that, we will go to uh, their website. We will download them from uh, this website, Food for Rhino. Food for Rhino. Let me uh, open it on a new tab. So. All of the plugins that we that are available for Grasshopper are uh, or can be downloaded from this website. So uh, it has like a lot of like hundreds of plugins that people created uh, to add to Grasshopper to like um, add functionality to perform some tasks or to do some works that uh, are not existing in the default. Uh, grasshopper so uh, all of these uh, plugins can be found on this website and our plugin uh, ladybug tools if we like with a quick search we can find it here so uh, after creating um, an account here you will see this download button uh, or you will see here the latest version that's available while i'm shooting these videos is 1.6 and to do that we hit download so uh, this downloaded file, uh, if we extract it, we will see these files here. Uh, let me draw uh, your attention to this folder. Uh, this folder has all of the uh, like samples or like uh, already pre-done uh, uh, work or samples, uh, like work files that can assist you a lot uh, in your work. Uh, but the one that we're using now is going to be installer. Uh, of course we have like uh, installation instructions and uh, if we go to this website it will show us like i'm using windows so it will show us uh, how to do like step by step uh, what to do with these files so we're gonna apply them now uh, it's saying inside the file that you downloaded there is like the installer uh, file this is the one that I'm going to be using. I'm going to drag it to my grasshopper so it opens. And I have like two steps. I'm going to toggle this to be true. And after a few seconds, uh, it's telling me that everything went fine. I have to do the, the next step. And after a while, this one took like over two minutes, uh, I think because it was downloading some stuff online. So it says like installation successful. And everything here is correct and fine. And I have now only to uh, restart uh, my Rhino and my Grasshopper to, uh, to see the new uh, Ladybug uh, tabs and like tools uh, up here. In the installation uh, link, there is one more step if you're using rhino 6 uh, you're gonna go to uh, like this direction here user create uh, like your name user and ladybug tools and you'll find this python files and uh, file and uh, like activate it or like uh, just run it so it activates but in my situation i'm using rhino 7 uh, i don't need to do that and after that i'm done so i'm gonna restart now And when it opens, I can see the new tabs, which are uh, like HB Radiance, Honeybee Radiance, 
uh, the dragonfly, the ladybug, and yeah, HP energy here, honeybee energy, and honeybee, honeybee the normal uh, the normal tab. So these are the additions that we are going to uh, work with. Uh, I also like wanted to mention that the creators of uh, this uh, plugin are like really doing hard work on uh, integrating these tools into like different um, like uh, programs softwares. So if you go to this website, uh, you can see that uh, they are uh, like trying to uh, integrate it with uh, with Rhino. So it, it can work directly with Rhino without a Grasshopper and it costs like $100 a month. And uh, they are also like, working on integrating it with uh, Revit uh, if you are using it. So it's just like the same analysis tools that we are going to see now in Grasshopper. They uh, are going to be available uh, in Revit. Uh, but as we can see here, because uh, Grasshopper is uh, like an open source and they have uh, already published uh, a lot of the uh, as we saw here a lot of versions before and they are just like doing the um, upgrade or development uh, on them so it is uh, free to work with uh, like this like grasshopper version so this is the one uh, that we are using uh, so uh, the pollination app is like a new software that they are like developing uh, i didn't download this app uh, i didn't want to uh, download and install it uh, because it wasn't uh, like as light as uh, these tools or as these like plugins that we installed and uh, i also like prefer to work with these tools because like they give me a lot of uh, flexibility um, well at least for now so uh, yeah this is how we installed uh, these tools on grasshopper and they are uh, almost ready to go we will start with these tools like introduction and how to work with them uh, in the next video.